Terrifying forecast for Central America. El huracán Yota. Catastrophic hurricane. El huracán. It's a catastrophic category four hurricane. In El peligroso huracán Eta. Hurricane Iota. Huracán Yota. El huracán Eta. El huracán Yota. Un gigante. Huracán Yota. Huracán. 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 October 28, 2020. A tropical depression was forming in the northeast of the Atlantic Ocean, becoming a major hurricane category 4 in a short time, taking form the Hurricane Eta. Este huracán, este huracán, ¿qué ves? compañero Carca. Conditions for ETA's development were favorable and remained so through landfall. High winds with more than 120 miles per hour, catastrophic rains up to 35 inches were expected to arrive at the Caribbean region. Tuesday, November 3, 2020, ETA made landfall in Bilwi and Puerto Cabezas, in the autonomous region of the North Caribbean coast in Nicaragua. It arrived with maximum sustained winds of 220 km per hour, according to the National Hurricane Center of the United States. In neighboring Honduras, rivers burst their banks, towns and cities on the coast flooded and landslides hit roads. The eye of the storm moved north and hit central Honduras on Thursday, November 5th, as a tropical storm. Moving slowly, Eta was lingering for the rest of the week, heading for Belize and Guatemala, where it triggered devastating landslides, burying almost a hundred of people in Queja, a village in San Cristobal. Mexican states, Chiapas and Tabasco, were affected with overflooded cities. Models show the storm crossing over Cuba and approaching the Florida, where it caused rains and floods. Many people in Nicaragua were directly affected by it. Across the country, the rains damaged 17,600 houses and destroyed 23,900, displacing 368,300 people. It must be remarked that the authorities of Nicaragua took control of this situation since the very beginning, avoiding casualties. Las instituciones de gobierno todos se abocaron a una a fortalecer la protección de la familia y ahí han estado involucrados todas las instituciones, el ejército, la policía, el ministerio de salud y esto ha reforzado enormemente el proceso organizativo y reacción que ha tenido nuestro pueblo. But it did not happen the same with the rest of the Central American countries. The damages and casualties in Honduras were huge, confirming a deaths, 2,700 evacuated and 338,563 affected people. A un poco más de dos millones de personas afectadas. Having the most casualties, Guatemala was overwhelmed as President Alejandro Yamate said that landslide in Huehuetenango and San Cristobal had left 50 dead people in these events. Between October 28th and November 2nd, in no more than two weeks, Iota, a new tropical storm, appeared in the Atlantic which became one of the most devastating and the most powerful ever recorded in decades in the Atlantic. Iota is the 30th hurricane recorded this year, being the strongest and hopefully the latest named hurricane of this year's extraordinary BC Atlantic hurricane season. Iota hit over the areas where Eta's torrential rains saturated the soils of the Central American and Caribbean islands, like San Andres and Providencia, which was destroyed in 98% of its infrastructure. Also, the departments of Antioquia and Chocó were battered by floods, leaving many casualties and missing people. November 16, 2020, 9 40 p.m. Deadly Hurricane Iota made landfall in Nicaragua as a major hurricane category 4 and winds of 260 km per hour in the area of Bilwi and Puerto Cabezas. 18 casualties were reported so far due to affectations of Iota. The government sheltered almost 63,000 victims 
and 669 shelters with the support of some 33,000 brigade members made up of the army, police, health personnel and members of other state institutions. Six deaths and one missing in the landslide in Honduras are the first victims in the country from the powerful cyclone Iota. Being a tropical storm, Iota went over El Salvador, leaving 813 victims, and in Guatemala, 923,330 so far, due to floods and rains. Central America and the Caribbean have been devastated, and the aftermaths will be difficult to overcome. This phenomena reveal how vulnerable the world is to face the global warming. <laughs>